Fan down. Try that again. Hello. Fan down. <laughs> so here we have the Zill starting kit. Uh, we've got a fresh battery, a can of fuel, some crank and handle gloves, and a great big chock. see anything? Um, you can't see much right now, well, but get, it should um, come up. Let's get the driver and the grips on. Just crank up some ergs. I think if we grab this fluorescent tube, <laughs> it's like that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Piece of precision test equipment. Um, and then we've got, I've got a whole box of these little pallets we can use, which is what I use on the one note organ. Whole, whole box of uh, pallets for making the little air valves out of. So, uh, kindly left over from a, an organ building job in the mid 1980s. Just kind of copper pull downs and buttons, and there's everything in here we need to do that. So, we just need to think of a layout. Um, also, we have to bear in mind that the uh, magnets we've got. Um, need to all be able to fit in. Uh, ah, it does light. Yeah, so the magnets we've got need to be able to fit in the box, so that's going to affect the pipe spacings as well, isn't it? Big um, oops, that might be 23 we've got now. On the one note organ, we had the hole was about 18mm diameter, and that's too big. 
so that the, the, the pallet is just, you know, it's only just covering the hole. to this copper buzz bar which will then then we'll have to go along and wire all of the other wires to pins which will go in these holes which will then take them to the outside world because this um, chest full of magnets is going to be um, full of air and I don't, I'm supposing nobody probably has a clue what this is anyway have they so I'm looking at it it's the inner gubbins, isn't it? It's the inner gubbins of what makes the organ work. Mm. How's that for a description? That'll do. So I'll just mark that up and get some holes drilled. You confident with that? Yeah, you do I can it? do that. I think it scores on the doors. to work. This is the finished wind chest. Uh, what we can do is apply 24 volts to any one of these pins, as you can hear. A clicking noise, that means the solenoid valves are opening and closing. not very offensive. Offensive. A bit of a polite noise, isn't it? Well, I wonder if... We need to punk it up. I wonder if... Just what we're hitting it with. Well, that's why I think we should try one of these solenoids out. Yeah, well, I have... That one might not be quite the thing. But I am aware that your solution to many things is hitting it with hammers. Yeah, that's more like it though, isn't it? That's um, Winchester Project 2. This is Winchester Project 1. Maybe we want to try and make this work. So, so intensely bloody complicated now. Those two. I might be able to use the same top bit on it, but anyway, we need to make another one note organ using these magnets just to make sure it works and we know what we're doing. Uh, this is what's known as a top note chest which um, was used on a small pipe organ up in Norfolk. It's actually quite interesting if you want a detailed explanation. There's a whole bunch of um, stereo um, electric chest magnets um, with little inserts in them that take pipe feet. What this did, this took three one octave ranks of very tiny pipes. It didn't, didn't need much air so you can drive them directly off the, the chest magnet. Um, but the electrical contacts on the keyboard were set up well through the, con the multi contact switches so that these were repeated at every octave. So all three pipes in each rank played in, w in one go, but they were all tuned to different notes. They give an effect to a chord. Yeah. So it's known as a mixture rank. What it has the effect of doing with a normal church organ, so acting on low pressures, which are all quite dull and miserable, it puts a 
nice little bit of top end sparkle into it. So when you pull it out, it gives the effect that a small church organ is actually quite a big cathedral organ, effectively. Um, can you see how this is going to work at all? Or effectively, our upper board is going to have a magnet. It's going to have the hole there from that magnet has to link to that hole there, which means that we'd need to have some kind of sort of uh, airway going through. Well, either an airway going through the wood or um, we route a channel through it, which we cover up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So however you look at it, we're going to have to have something that's that long in order to make this action work. You know, so for the whole thing. And then that will open the hole that the pipe sits on top of. style pneumatic chest. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work. It's plonked in the hole. And I'll just see what the reaction time's like on it. None of this has been set up or regulated yet, so... Yeah, so it works. This really should form the basis of every other organ we make. Because this is a simple two-stage pneumatic system, which is fine for pipe works of this size, working on this sort of pressure. If we end up going for much bigger pipes, then we may want to add a third stage to this, because obviously we, we need to get more air into the pipes. But that's dead easy, because we've got this second stage supplying air, we can have that just inflating a bigger pneumatic motor, opening a bigger hole, and then it's infinitely scalable. So you could use this for anything from tiny pipes up to fog horns. That's the basic electric so electric system. It doesn't look system. like much, but it's a big leap. Forward. It popped it, yeah. Good and proper. Actual proper smoke. You might be able to smell it. Yeah. We need to plug. We need to get the keyboard. Actually, plug. And is we've cooked one of those. Well, we cooked those chips. All of them. Oh, bottoms. Um. So let me replace one. Initially. Right. Power everything back up again. Is that one I was worried about? But let's not worry about that one for now. Let's carry on down. We That's should have. Different. Oh yeah, because some of them have got felt, some of them <laughs> haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're just trained together. So I think we can. I mean, we seem to have magnets going on. And it's making banging noises. Should we give it some wind and see if we can make any other noises with it? Obviously, it's unregulated and overblown. Craziness. You can hardly hear it working. And only one note not working. That was really good, because you haven't ridden in it before, have you? Because first I was like this, then I was like this. <laughs> that was bloody awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Mark. Well done, Max. Well done, Sally. Well done, Sally. <laughs> Took good work with Team Awesome. Team Awesome. I can't believe the thing ran on it. Keeps well. Yeah, it's not bad. Give that a sniff. <laughs>
Good work, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Cool.